Hello, boys and girls. My name is Miss Heidi, and thank you so much for joining me this morning for Children's Liturgy of the Word. Today is the second week of Advent. For the second Sunday of Advent, we will light another violet or purple candle today, which symbolizes peace. Our theme this week is Turn Back to God. We'll learn more about what this means in a little bit. Let's first learn some signs in American Sign Language for our gathering song. First, let's learn how to sign the word prepare. Hold your hands out in two parallel lines like this, and then make a little loop like this. Good job. Try again. Hands parallel, loop-de-loop. -loop. Good job. Now let's learn how to sign the word Savior. Make fists and cross our hands over our chests like how we sign the word love. Now open your fists, hold your hands parallel like this, and move them down. Nicely done. Let's try again. Across our chest, hands out and down. Well done. Lastly, let's remember how to sign the word Lord. Make an L with your right hand, tap your shoulder, and then tap your hip. Good work. Once more. L, shoulder, hip. We will use these signs in our gathering song, which is called The Promise, Part 2. Sing along with me. A voice shouting in the wilderness, telling people prepare. Ready the road for the Lord, the Savior soon is due. A voice shouting in the wilderness, telling people prepare. Ready the road for the Lord, the Savior soon is due. The promise made so long ago, just as the prophet said, A king will be born for us, Jesus Emmanuel. A voice shouting in the wilderness, telling people prepare. Ready the road for the Lord, the Savior soon is here. A voice shouting in the wilderness, telling people prepare. Ready the road for the Lord, the Savior soon is here. All people waiting for a sign, you must turn back to God. The kingdom is now at hand, it's time to Make a stand. A voice shouting in the wilderness, telling people prepare. Ready the road for the Lord, the Savior soon is due. A voice shouting in the wilderness, telling people prepare. Ready the road for the Lord, the Savior soon is due. Beautiful singing, boys and girls. Later, we'll hear who is telling everyone to ready the road for the Lord. Let's look at our coloring page for this week. I see a road or a path to Jesus in heaven. What are these obstacles blocking our way to Jesus? Well, it's sin. Sin blocks our way to Jesus. Let's remember to turn away from sin and turn back to God. This week, we'll light two Advent candles and then get ready to listen to God's Word. In today's first reading, we'll hear from the prophet Isaiah. Listen closely to what Isaiah tells God's people to do. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. A voice is shouting, Clear a path in the desert for the Lord. Build a straight road there for our God. Fill in the valleys and flatten the mountains and hills. Level the rough and rugged ground. Then the glory of the Lord will appear for all to see. 
The Lord has promised this. The word of the Lord. And we say together, thanks be to God. Can you say that? Thanks be to God. Good job. Do you remember what a prophet is? Well, a prophet is a messenger of God. And today's reading is about the prophet Isaiah. Isaiah tells the Israelites, or God's people, to do something. Hmm, what did Isaiah tell God's people to do? Take a guess. Well, Isaiah said to build a path in the desert and to make a straight path towards the Lord. But what does that mean? Well, it means that God wants us to prepare a way towards Him. And not just any path, a straight path, which is like a path of goodness. If we make room for God in our lives by putting aside things that distract us, then we can be even more ready for the coming of Jesus. Now it's time for the responsorial psalm, which is a song that we'll sing together. Our words today are, Lord, let us see your kindness and grant us your salvation. Sing this with me the second time when I raise my hand. Lord, let us see your kindness and grant us your salvation. Lord, let us see your kindness and grant us your salvation. I will hear what God proclaims. The Lord proclaims peace to his people. His salvation is near to those who fear him. Glory dwelling in our land. Lord, let us see your kindness and grant us your salvation. Kindness and truth shall meet, justice and peace shall kiss. Truth shall spring out of the earth, and justice shall look down from heaven. Lord, let us see your kindness and grant us your salvation. The Lord himself will give his benefits. Our land shall yield its increase. Justice shall walk before him and prepare the way of his steps. Lord, let us see your kindness and grant us your salvation. Today's psalm asks God to continue to show his love and his mercy to us by being kind to us. We also ask God to grant or give us salvation. Ooh, that's a big word. Do you remember what salvation means? Go ahead and take a guess. Well, salvation means saving us from sin. When we love and respect God, we are becoming closer to God and closer to enjoying eternal salvation or life forever with Christ in heaven. Now it's time to stand up and get ready for the gospel. Sing Alleluia with me when I raise my hand.
Thanks for singing along. Today's gospel is about St. John the Baptist. His job was to get people ready for the coming of Jesus. As we listen to the gospel, let's pretend we are all those people gathered together listening to St. John the Baptist. The Lord be with you. And we say together, and with your spirit. Can you say that? And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. And we say together, glory to you, O Lord. Make a little cross on your forehead, on your lips, and on your heart. This is the good news about Jesus Christ, the Son of God. It began just as God had said in the book written by Isaiah the prophet. I am sending my messenger to get the way ready for you. In the desert, someone is shouting, Get the road ready for the Lord. Make a straight path for him. So John the Baptist showed up in the desert and told everyone, Turn back to God and be baptized. Then your sins will be forgiven. From all Judea and from Jerusalem, crowds of people went to John. They told him how sorry they were for their sins, and he baptized them in the Jordan River. John wore clothes made of camel's hair. He had a leather strap around his waist and ate grasshoppers and wild honey. John also told the people, Someone more powerful is going to come, and I am not good enough even to stoop down and untie his sandals. I baptize you with water, but he will baptize you with the Holy Spirit. The Gospel of the Lord. And we say together, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Can you say that? Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Very good. You may go ahead and sit down now, boys and girls. So we heard in the gospel today that someone came to prepare the way for Jesus. Do you remember who that was? Yes, good job. It was St. John the Baptist. John the Baptist went into the desert and began to preach or teach others. He said, turn back to God and be baptized. Your sins will be forgiven. Many people came and listened to John. John baptized them in a river and told them that someone more powerful was coming soon. All the people who came to John had one thing in common, or something that was the same. What was it? Well, they were all sorry for their sins. In those days, People received baptism to show that they were sorry for their sins. Do you know what sinning means? Go ahead and tell me if you do. Good job. People sin whenever they turn away from God, forgetting all about God and the things God wants them to do. One way we forget about God is by forgetting to pray every day. Hmm, what are some ways children like you can pray? Great examples. Some things you could do would be to say a prayer before eating or pray before bedtime. You could read Bible stories or look at Bible picture books and then talk to God about them. Did you know you could also write letters to God or draw pictures for God? You could even make up your own songs for God and sing them. When you're outside taking a walk or riding your bike, you can talk to God too. Which idea do you like best? Thanks for sharing. Now, I want you to think of our lives like a path or a road. If there are many things blocking our path, then it's like an obstacle course and we'll never get to where we're going. Do you know where our path will hopefully lead to? Yes, 
heaven. Those things blocking our way on our path are sins, and they are stopping us from growing closer to Jesus. We want to get to heaven, so we need to clear our path. And one way we can do this is by praying. This Advent, let's remember to set aside time for Jesus in prayer so that we can prepare for his birth on Christmas. Let's say, Lord, I will turn back to you. Your turn. Lord, I will turn back to you. Good job. Now we are going to sing a song to help us profess our faith or to say what we believe in. Your part will be, Yes, Lord, I believe. Can you say that? Yes, Lord, I believe. Nice job. Sing along with me. Do you believe in God the Father? Yes, Lord, I believe. Who made the earth and all we see? Yes, Lord, I believe. Do you believe in Jesus Christ? Yes, Lord, I believe. Conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit, yes, Lord, I believe. I believe in God the Father, I believe in God the Son, I believe in the Holy Spirit and the strength that makes us one. I believe that Mother Mary is the mother of God's Son, I believe, I do believe. Do you believe that Jesus died? Yes, Lord, I believe. He died for us so we could live. Yes, Lord, I believe. Do you believe he rose again? Yes, Lord, I believe. He's seated now at God's right hand. Yes, Lord, I believe. I believe in God the Father. I believe in God the Son. I believe in the Holy Spirit and the strength that makes us one. I believe that Mother Mary is the mother of God's Son. I believe, I do believe. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit? Yes, Lord, I believe. The Catholic Church and communion of saints? Yes, Lord, I believe. Do you believe in God's forgiveness? Yes, Lord, I believe That we will rise to life again Yes, Lord, I believe I believe in God the Father I believe in God the Son I believe in the Holy Spirit And the strength that makes us one I believe that Mother Mary is the mother of God's Son I believe I do believe This is our faith which we profess Yes, Lord, I believe I believe in God the Father I believe in God the Son I believe in the Holy Spirit And the strength that makes us one I believe that Mother Mary Is the mother of God's Son I believe I do believe, I believe, I do believe. Thank you for singing along, boys and girls. Now it's time for the prayer of the faithful, where we bring our prayers to God. Because we are the church, we are the gathering of the baptized. So let us turn to God in prayer. After each petition, please sing, Lord, hear our prayer. Jesus, come to the leaders of our church and fill them with your love and wisdom. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. Jesus, fill our homes with your light and peace. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. Jesus, come to our cities and towns and fill them with your goodness and beauty. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. 
Jesus, help the sick and the suffering and protect the doctors and nurses who care for them. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the grace to see every human as a child of God, regardless of skin color, language, or culture. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. Now it is our turn to bring our prayers to God, either out loud or in our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. God, our Father, we know that when your Son comes again in glory, he will bring us every good gift. Help us, God, to clear a straight path for him. We ask this in the name of Christ our Lord. Amen. Can you say that? Amen. Good job. This ends today's children's liturgy, boys and girls. But don't worry, there's still more you can do now at home. Use the link below to download the Clear Your Path to Jesus coloring page. Thank you to all of you who have sent your wonderful coloring pages in. We'll show them at the end of our video today. If your parents would like to share your weekly coloring pages or faith-based drawings, have them take a picture of your drawing and email it to kidsliturgy2020 at gmail.com and we'll try to feature them in next week's video. For a limited time, you can purchase the 2020 to 2021 Sunday Missal for Young Catholics and the Winter Children Celebrate leaflets together for only $10 plus shipping. Visit bayardfaithresources.com or call 1-800-543-4383 to order. And check out their other special offers for Children Celebrate resources, too. Now available, join Catholic composer John Berland and I for a journey through Advent in song. This free children's special gives an overview of Advent to little ones and invites them to sing along to some of John Berland's favorite Advent songs. Search for Flom Publishing Group on YouTube to access this free 25-minute sing-along. Thank you so much, boys and girls, for listening to God's Word with me today. We hope you'll join us next week, too. Stay well, God bless you, and remember that Jesus loves you. Waiting, we have been waiting, waiting for a sign, waiting for the time, longing. I've been longing, longing for a sign, longing for the time. A promise made long ago, a promise made so long ago. The solemn promise of the Lord. Solemn promise of the Lord. Hoping, we have been hoping, hoping for a sign, hoping for the time. Waiting, we have been waiting, waiting for a sign. Waiting for the time A promise made long ago A promise made so long ago The solemn promise of the Lord our God The solemn promise of the Lord Promise me long ago. I promise me so long ago. The
deeper than the deepest sea, taller than the tallest tree.